Hi. I felt led recently to talk about the value them both amendment that's coming up here in Kansas on August 2nd. It's an extremely important piece of legislation and I have been alarmed about the arguments against it that people have brought to my attention. I just want to make sure that people are not being fooled or scared from voting on this amendment the way that they should. So I'd like to read it to you right now. So this is the text that would amend the Kansas State Constitution. This is what it would say, and this is how it would change. And I really encourage you to look it up and see for yourself exactly what it is that they're arguing against so that when they do, they can't fool you into thinking that it's something that it's not. So the Constitution would be amended saying, uh, Section 22, Regulation of Abortion. Because Kansans value both women and children, the Constitution of the State of Kansas does not require government funding of abortion and does not create or secure a right to abortion to the extent permitted by the Constitution of the United States, the people through their elected state representatives and state senators may pass laws regarding abortion, including but not limited to laws that account for circumstances of pregnancy resulting from rape or incest or circumstances of necessity to save the life of the mother. So in effect, what happened in Kansas is there was a series of laws in place. And these laws banned dismemberment abortion, late term abortion, funding by the Kansan to the uh, state of Kansas that would go to abortion. It banned all these things. And then the very liberal Supreme Court of Kansas came along and said, no, the Constitution of Kansas says that women have a right to unlimited abortion. So in effect, it'd be just as bad as abortion in Oregon or a few other places where you can have an abortion clear up to birth. And so they did away with these laws. And then Kansans were able to have dismemberment abortions where in the second trimester, they, this can be a bit gruesome to, so don't let your children uh, listen to this until you listen to it first, but they dilate the cervix, they, suction out the amniotic fluid. They can't take the baby out as a whole. So they so they rip the poor little kid limb from limb and take it out of the womb. They crush the skull and take it out of the womb and then they put it all together. So this poor little kid, can you imagine me having to be ripped apart like that? So the Supreme Court said that it's too much of a burden for abortionist doctors to have to come up with a different and more humane way of killing off the baby. So we're gonna allow them to keep doing that. So they have been allowed to do that since 2019. And so this amendment would reinstitute the laws banning that, that were excluded by the Supreme Court. So immediately, immediately, it would save a lot of children from being tortured to death. 
lifespan. That's what we need to do too. <laughs> we need to save these children not a year from now or maybe 10 years from now. We need to save these little kids now. And I've been upset because I had a friend come to me and she said that she was talking to somebody that said, oh no, you need to pass a law to abolish all abortion or nothing at all. And that would be awesome if they had that law to vote for, I would vote for that over this one. <laughs> but they're making it seem like because you can't have all or nothing, then you go ahead and allow for these little kids to be tortured. You go allow, go ahead and allow your tax dollars to go to this Satanist practice because it's not the way that you wanted it done. And she was confused because it was a pastor that brought this up to her. But she was later reassured, I think through prayer and by God himself, that yes, this is something that needs to be done. These little children need to be protected now. And so it would immediately stop those types of abortions from Kansas. It would then stop the flood of people coming into Kansas to have an abortion because they wouldn't be available to the extent that they are now. And it would stop ruining our land. And then we could have the ability to pass laws to make illegal I mean make it illegal to have an abortion here this provides a door opening so that we can pass laws to ban it it doesn't say oh the leg legislature can do whatever they want no now they can pass laws against it I think it's ridiculous the argument saying don't don't go for this amendment because then the legislature will have unlimited power in regulating abortion and what if a bunch of liberals get in there then they'll have ultra liberal laws like we do right now and it could become as horrible as it is right now <laughs> I, I can't believe some of the arguments out there I know that they're um there's groups of people like the abolitionists that are heavily entrenched in their beliefs and it it's I talked to a lot of them and I think it's really a desire to get rid of guilt to atone for their past sins and they have to do this themselves they have to do it the right way or otherwise they're condemned forever I, I think it's really um, tactic used by the devil to keep you from grace and forgiveness that God can forgive you for these things he can still work with you and you, you know that you we've all created sins in our past and we cannot atone for our own sins we cannot make it better and I, I think that Satan really uses this to create confusion in the minds of people and chaos in the minds of people when this is an unbelievable blessing to be able to put into the Constitution, no, Kansans do not have a right to kill their children and we should not have to pay for that either. I think this is a beautiful blessing and opportunity, and I really urge you to vote yes on this amendment, August 2nd, it's coming up soon. And yes, we need to put an end to all abortion, yes. And this is the first step for the state of Kansas. And praise the Lord that we have this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, so much that this is a possibility to happen. And thank you for watching me, and I hope that it is cleared up 
some confusion if you had confusion about the amendment. Thank you.